Hey everybody, it's Simon Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Grandia Redux, the harder version, the hack, the whatever you want to call it, the patch, the version of the game that's going to make it harder. So that being said, um, in the last episode we kind of went through a bunch of story stuff, but then towards the end of that episode we did get a letter of introduction from the curator, and he said that we can go to the Salt Ruins, so that's pretty much where we want to go next is going to be on the in the outer map but before we do that i want to take a quick stop over here now if i was playing regular grandia i would probably never come over here but i think it's important to get some defensive items first and foremost over here while we can sportswear plus four defense that's plus two for both of them so let's go ahead and equip that to you and equip that to you Get both of those for you and then to sell you have to actually talk to the merchants so I want to sell these ventures clothes and sun best that we had that only leaves us with like 40 I don't think we can get anything else with that can we a ribbon for Sue we could trade it Give her one extra defense I mean why would we not do that you know let's go for it because it's just the beginning of the game is a little bit harder and we'll get some more money and stuff as we're going traction like we'll get more traction as we move forward but the beginning of the game can just be a little hard well actually this whole version of the game is going to be hard because it's redux but we want to make sure that we're ready but our first stop is marna road here so as you can tell the overworld map is just kind of like you're picking it on that arrow thing it's more about the individual arrow areas themselves so there is a lot of save data. That's the first thing that you'll notice um, in this patch, ROM hack, whatever you want to call it. In this version of the game, a lot of the little save points that would give you recovering status don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, so that's kind of rude. So let's introduce the battle system of Grandia because this is the first time that we're really kind of getting into that. As you can tell, we can see enemies on the field just like that. Oh, and they're, wow. And I let them hit Sue's butt. So that's worse. Depending on where they hit you, you're going to get a different kind of attack. So we just got ambushed, as you can see there. If you look at the bottom right there, um, that is kind of like the activity meter. You get to where Sue is right now, and that's where you can put in your input. And then you get to the act, and that's when you do it. So they're both about to attack. We can see they're both about to attack. One's about to attack Sue. One's about to attack Justin. So in this situation right here, I'm going to straight up just defend. Endure with Sue, with Sue, just because she's about to take a hit, and we know it. So let's go over a couple things. So combo, combo makes your character do two normal physical attacks, um, back to back, and it does good damage. Good for just straight up doing damage. Critical, that does one heavy hitting attack with the physical damage, but it really can knock a character or cancel them. So it can put them all the way back. So if they're where Justin is at now. And say Justin got hit with a critical hit, he could go all the way back to where that weight is at that big, at that bottom bar. Defend, as you can see, we endured before, or we could evasion where we move around the field because your placement on the field actually matters in this kind of battle system. And we'll kind of go over that more. Look, we can just kind of like look at the enemies. They're Marna bugs. They've got 24 HP. That's about it. Nothing too special. We could escape. We could do tactics, all that kind of fun stuff. At the beginning, you pretty much just want to combo things. Let's get as much, ooh, and they're going to be dodging us and stuff, which is rude. But we pretty much just want to kind of kill them and get whatever experience we can. Oh, do you see how the, he just canceled her? So even though she had a second attack in her combo, Sue did not get to do it. So that's kind of like the basic rundown of the battle system here in Grandia. Hopefully that's not too much all at once. Let me turn the music down just a tad. And then we get weapon experience based on how much we used our weapon if we were using magic we would get that experience we'll kind of go over that more later and then just regular experience for your levels so now that we've kind of seen that battle system i want to go over a couple stats a little bit more so you guys kind of know them so if you look at wit that wit stat controls how fast you go on that blue gauge at the bottom right so the higher your wit stat the faster you're going on that gauge so it's kind of like agility in that way where, but agility, physical agility, is how fast you run on the field. And move is how far you can run on the field. Vitality is defense and strength is attack. 
those are pretty straightforward but wit and agility that separation is very important in this game because wit i kind of prioritize personally more than agility and so you need to know that now another thing that i wanted to kind of put point out is as you can see we were gaining experience based on our weapons so like right now Justin is using a mace type weapon. He's level one in that. When he gets to level two in that, which every time it's a hundred experience to get to the next level, it's just varying how much experience you get for what you're doing. Um, so he got like 14 experience in the last battle. Once he gets to level two, he's gonna get two points of X HP and one point of vitality permanently. That's forever. So your weapon levels play a huge role in your stat gain almost more than your actual physical levels. You want to make that sure that your weapon levels are on point and doing exactly what you want for your character. So that's why I'm kind of keeping Justin on the mace right now. I really kind of want to focus on a little bit of defense and HP just to start off and then I'm going to put him on the sword because then the sword will give him strength and wit and that will be super helpful. Now, Sue is in a different boat. She is starting off with the HP and strength of the bow. And then once Justin's done with his mace, I'll just hand that off to Sue and then she can get a little bit more tanky. So that's kind of the basics of that. Let's go over some more battles where we're not ambushed. Here's the regular battle music where it's all happy and not trying to ruin our life. Three Marna Bugs this time. Let's go ahead and so as you can see, it kind of shows some stuff ahead of time, right? So I know he's going to use String Orb on me and I'm not super interested in that. Let's show off Puffy Kick, which is a move that um, Sue can use here. It's going to use 8 SP. Now, SP is different from MP, so don't worry about that. SP only affects your actual physical moves that we're using here now as you can look in the bottom right left you can only use puffy kick if she has a bow equipped so just keep that in mind but let's use that on the guy using string orb on us because i think that'll knock him down a peg puffy's so cute i love how she just yeets him over there to fight him and boom as you can tell he's kind of shook now he's way down at standby he doesn't really know what he's gonna do i'm gonna send justin over there just to finish him off get one less enemy coming at us Let's see what we can do. Nice. We got a good counter. Uh, counter just means it does more damage depending on like if you were literally about to hit them and then they hit you right before. That's technically a counter and you get like bonus damage on that. Let's clear you out. One less target. As you can see, we're taking some damage, but it's not too bad here because we did kind of plan. We have the really good equipment because I'm obviously going to want to be fighting everything in this area to get as much experience as I can. Uh, this redux is no joke. It's going to start off easy just like any game, but the game gets extremely hard from the videos and stuff that I've seen because I watched a playthrough of it. But I haven't personally done it. Alright, so some more experience. As you can see, we're getting weapon experience for both of them. We're just trying to get some levels on our weapons so that we can start getting traction. Now, there is one new enemy over here. One more new enemy for this area, and then pretty much after that, I'll start cutting out battles for a while giant centipedes these guys can be a little rude that one's just defending so i'm definitely going to want to focus this one we might as well try to get as much weapon experience with sue as we can as you can tell though sue kind of takes a little bit to shoot hers off now he's going to use thorns on justin i don't think we're going to get it in time but let's try to go for a critical yeah it did not work if she would have hit him with that it would have canceled that move and then justin would have been safe but that just wasn't the T today. That's okay. Justin's doing really good damage. We'll take that weapon experience and move on with our lives. So yeah, hopefully you can kind of, you guys can kind of see the baseline of how the game works right now. Because later, it's going to get real in-depth based on the little things that we know already. I'll probably show one more battle. Oh, and as you can see, there's items just laying on the ground here. So there's herbs, and then you can either auto or choose who you want to give them to. Let's give those to Sue, because Sue's not really caring much right now. Oh, Marna Bugs, I'll cut this out. That battle wasn't bad at all. It was just like two Marna Bugs. So we cleared them out pretty dang easily. Alright, um, but the one thing that I do like about this combat system is it's not like other combat systems where, I mean, I do love fast forward, don't get me wrong, 
but you really can't just fast forward through this combat system you'll die like you have to be interactive each of the enemies are very unique in their own way that you have to like really focus on them oh here's these guys again i'll show them off one more time and then i'll start cutting off their battles too cutting them out the giant centipedes can be kind of rude we'll probably want to heal soon now the best healing thing that you can do right now is Sue's Rah Rah. That's something that she does with Puffy. You do gain SP back naturally just by doing regular attacks. So don't worry about how expensive it is right now. But yeah, just a nice little 25, solid 25 every single time. It doesn't change no matter how much she levels up or levels up her weapons. It's just a solid 25 every time. And so that's kind of cool. Nice, countered him and killed him. That was perfect, Sue. And so since she did use Rah Rah, and she, that is a bow weapon type skill, she's got experience for her bow like that. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Ooh, they dropped an item. What'd they give me? Herbs. Eh. It's fine. Ooh, Justin's about to get a level on his maces. I'm excited for when he actually does that. We'll be working the maces for just a while longer, but I still am excited. Ooh, a thicky group. All right, we won. That battle was a little bit tougher, but it wasn't too bad. And as you can see, we actually both got levels in our weapons. I didn't really show them off because I did cut out that battle, but we will see what that animation looks like. Um, eventually, it just literally just pops up over the character and says, Oh, mace level up, or bow level up. So it doesn't really matter that much, but now we can take a look at our moves. And as you can see, Justin's mace is level 2. So we kind of want to work his mace for a while until it's about level 4. Because if you look up there, level 4 is the next skill. Um, like the next thing that, next level tier, I guess, is the right word for his maces as far as a move. I guess you could go all the way to 7 if you were feeling rambunctious, but we're not going to do that. As far as Sue, we'll just chill with the bow for a while until Justin's done with his mace. Honestly, that's kind of how I judge that so i want to run around here there's some nice money i don't really know the money calculations of each single one in grandia but the main point is just collect all the money dude like it's it's good for you but we're gonna fight everything we can Hooray! two marna bugs nothing to worry about oh and sue did get a physical level up which is always good. As you can see, her stats did go up, but it's very minimally. You're going to get most of your stats from the weapon level ups because they are just more frequent and they kind of affect you more directly. Oh, another one right here. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that battle was extremely easy. We just ran in and killed them. But we'll take any experience that we can get. Alright, Marna Road, what else do you have to offer for us? I'm pretty sure. Oop, here's a group and some money. Battles everywhere. I might as well show this battle off just to kind of switch things up. This is as good a time as ever to show off Justin's V Slash, which is an attack that he can use with any of his weapons. Um, let's use it on the centipede here, because he's going for Sue. We don't really want to do that. Sue can finish him off if Justin doesn't. But let's show it off very powerful skill especially at the beginning of the game as you can tell that's going to be doing a lot of damage so Justin's skills are mainly more for damage output where Sue kind of uses her skills well Puffy Kick is kind of damaged but I mainly use her for Rah Rah Kick I mean Rah Rah Cheer at the very beginning of the game because it's like she's just 25 to everybody right at the beginning of the game is extremely useful yeah, that battle wasn't too bad. I mean, we took some hits. We did some things, but it wasn't nothing detrimental. Got some more herbs. We will take those all day long. Dustin's about to get another level two, so that's pretty cool. We're going to need them. You, you people think I'm joking, but this game is going to get hard. more centipedes for the books we'll take the money we'll take the experience and we'll run with it oh justin got that level noise chilling at level three we're getting there he's growing he's on that slow grow on um, the compass at the top i'm pretty sure the red is always north but then the compass is always 
pointing towards where you need to go, like the exit. I think that's the T. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. There is an item over here. Herbs will auto that. I'm pretty sure it goes to Sue. We'll have to like storage or sell a lot of our items that we have right now, but we'll take care of that when we can. Now is not the time. What a fish. Yeah, that battle was extremely straightforward. Let's go in and kill him. Ooh, we're about to get some more weapon levels though. That's pretty nice. I'm always down for that. What a cinch. Oh, they're both really close. Justin's literally one hit. So I'll probably show the next battle just so you guys can see what it looks like when we do get a weapon level up. But we'll see them, I mean, periodically throughout the game. So it's not a huge worry. We're going to show off a battle. Let's get a big one going. Oh, what's this? Oh, a baton. That one's actually good because I think... Oh, that is better than the wood pole that we have right now. Oh, yeah, it is. So that makes it slightly easier. I'll show off this battle, and then I'll probably clear out the rest of them and cut the whole menagerie of it out. Oh, are we frozen? Hello? Please don't tell me we're frozen. What's wrong? Game? Base level up. That easy. That battle was incredibly easy as well. Yeah, it just kind of shows it that quick. So at least we got another one. We just want one more mace level. And then we'll switch over to the sword soon. With Mr. Justin. Because the sword is super useful. Not only for strength, but that wit stat. Especially early. So useful. There we go. I just went ahead and cleared out all of those enemies. So we're getting some more experience and all that good stuff. A little bit more, but you guys, I guess you guys don't care if you see every little drop of experience that we get. So I just cleared out those three battles. That'll happen periodically through the series because there's some big chunks. Oh man, there's another battle over there. It's funny how, like, instantaneously these battles get so much easier. And we're just like, Justin is such a tank. Now, just because of those couple points of vitality, like what we already gained... Like, to give you kind of perspective, so we have leveled up twice with our thing. Yeah, we're level three. So that means four points of our vitality was gained from just our mace. So if we didn't do mace, he'd be at ten in vitality. That's how much it matters. And that's only going to grow exponentially throughout the whole game. Like, they're so important. At least those centipedes give you herbs. At least we're getting something for our struggles. Speaking of which, I should probably start using... Oh, I need to stop hitting that. That is not the button to get to our menu. But I need to start using those herbs because our inventory is getting full, full. Here, use an herb on Justin. Use an herb on Sue. There's at least two more spots. We're going to need them. Inventory spots are gold in this game. I think actually this is the way we wanted to go. That one was incredibly easy. The just single Marna bugs are nothing to us now. Like we can just crush those. Incredibly easy. Ooh, there's another battle we want to get. Probably our last one before the area, so that's good. Took care of that group pretty easily. Not getting any levels quite yet, but Justin's getting close. Well, actually, no, I guess Sue did get another throw level there, so that's good. That's more strength for her. She's becoming a monster when it comes to strength. I'm pretty sure that's, like, all of Marna Road. We've gotten all the items I can think of that are around here. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it's time for us to move on. But we got lots of battling and lots of experience. So that's kind of like your introduction area to the entire battle system. Salt ruins, they're going to kind of crank things up a little bit more. So, just be prepared. And here is the salt ruins.
a very gorgeous place, really. You can just feel the good vibes around here. <laughs> or something like that. Look at that creepy head. I can't fake it anymore. That thing is terrifying. Disgusting. Super scary, actually. Hello, sir. Who goes there? This is no place for children. Hang on, look at this. An intro letter from the curator. What? It is. What could the curator be thinking giving this letter to such children? Don't worry about that. Just let us in, okay? Hmm. Okay, well, you can go in. Thanks, man. Tension. Soldiers fall in. Salute. Listen up. After traveling all the way from the new continent, we won't tolerate failure. Be sharp out there. Meet at the stage on level one. Call roll by regiment as soon as you arrive and stand by for orders. Ten shut! Fall in! Right face! March! Double time! Say, Saki. It was your troops who made us late. Aren't you a little lax on discipline? Don't give me that, Nana! The last time they were late, I made them all give me 3,000 squats! Oh, Saki. You're such a muscle freak. I'd make them go without rations for 100 days. Oh, Mio, you're too kind. If it were me, I'd give them 5,000 lashes. Then, I'd pickle them in brine and give them 100 days in a brick. <laughs> that would kill them. If Herr Mullen were to get wind of that, he'd have your head. No problem. I just swear him to secrecy, and Herr Mullen would never be the wiser. <laughs> oh. Come on. We need to get going, too. Or we'll be late for the rendezvous. Right, Mio. If we were to be late, it'd be harder to discipline the truth. So those three are curious. That's one way to put it. Ah, oh, so boring. Nothing to do in the boondock ruins. Getting bored is even more tiring. I couldn't even get up today. I was way too late. Just like Justin. Justin couldn't do anything without me. Huh? Did you say something? It's just boring me to sleep. Oh. Oh no. I've got to be a serious guard. Well, that guy is having some major life crises. Hello. Say, Justin, how's little Gaunt's doing? Be good to him, okay? Sure, Gaunt. Gaunt's? Of course I'm good to him, right, Sue? Oh, sure. You're being really good to him, right, Puffy? Puff, puff. So I guess uh, Gaunt's brother joined the army. Boy, don't be wandering around here. If you're found by General Ball, you'll get chewed out. General Ball? Of the Ball Museum? That guy? You've got some nerve to, to ask in such a situation. Well, I'll tell you anyway. I don't know much, but he has some connection with the Joel Foundation that seems to be feared. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hello. I wish I could go on leave. Then I'd go back to town and have some coffee at the cafe. One cup after, one cup after work just tastes so good. Then I could check off this fatigue. If the girl next to me was Lieutenant Lean, I'd be excellent. That dreamy expression of hers. Your tongue in it is hanging out, sir. <laughs> so as you can see, this game really focuses a lot on its world. I heard that the three sergeants above us are beauties and nice people, but that was completely wrong. They certainly are beautiful and capable, but their personality is, ugh, oh, hard-headed and strict. I get chewed out every day. <laughs> I'm completely disappointed. Sir, don't you get chewed out because of your attitude? You ought to look sharp. Yow! You monsters there! I am a soldier in the Garlisle forces, and you won't kill me so easily. How rude. You can call Justin... How can you call Justin or a beautiful lady like me monsters? Hmm, what despicable monsters would disguise themselves as children, so I'll cut you up. Hey, just a minute. Listen to me. We're not monsters. That guy's crazy. How could children be here? How'd you get into the salt ruins? Say, say, the roads are underground, right? Can I see them? Take us there. How suspicious. Who are you? I show no mercy, even to kids. Now answer! Um... 
I mean, we have this intro letter. We should be fine, right? Came to visit the Soul Ruins. Look, we have a letter of introduction. Letter of introduction. This? Hmm. I guess. It does look real. See, we're not suspicious at all, so take us underground with you. Underground. <laughs> all right. But first, just show me that letter of introduction. Okay. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. So rude. See, no more letter of introduction. Now you twerps are illegal intruders, maybe. That's right. Now we must catch the intruders, torture them, and execute them. But since you are children, we'll overlook this just once. Leave the salt ruins at once. Come, let's go, Saki. Mio, there's no time to be bothering with these kids. Wow. What a warm welcome. How awful. Who do they think they are? Anyway, Justin, oh well, let's just go home. No way, Sue and Adventure can't back down now. We're going into the Salt Ruins. Duh. There is a save area over here that we can recover from. Yes. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get a quick little save in. A little savey save. And let's see what the hint is. Do these change? It is important to determine which monsters are ready to make powerful moves and slay them first. Monsters giving off yellow sparks are attempting to kill or move their attacks, which we've seen before. So yeah, and we can use the look command. Thank you so much. Let's delve into here. Justin, you really want to go down? Didn't you hear what those three said? I did, but they're so secretive. There's got to be something there. They practically told us that there are secrets. An adventurer can't ignore that. Oh, Justin, but you know, I thought it'd come to this. Oh, you thought so, eh? Well, let's see what goes in. Mullen Company, fall in, face forward. Salt Ruin Special Survey Team, roll call. Squad leaders, front and center. Sergeant Nana, leader of the Bloody Rose Squad, reporting. Sergeant Saki, leader of the Lightning Star Squad. All men accounted for. Sergeant Neo, leader of the Desert Moon Squad. All men present. Colonel Mullen will now address the troops before deployment. All soldiers, listen carefully. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. My dear soldiers. Our squad will now commence the final excavation of the Salt Ruins. Operation Yudraisal is entering the final stage. Now we only have to find the last remaining piece. I needn't remind you that the depths of these ruins are dangerous. You may even be risking your life. However, this is our time. You, the Honorable Garlau forces, will bring a great boon to humanity. Go! You, the elite of Garlisle, will open the door to the wisdom of the ancient Angelo civilization. I am counting on every one of you. Yes, sir! Bloody Rose Squad, you take the east. Lightning Star Squad has the west. Desert Moon Squad, take the south. You have your assignments. We're counting on you. Good luck. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. The time is 1506 hours. All squads have begun operations. Hmm. Lean. You've also become quite an able aide de camp. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you, Herr Mullen. <laughs> well, let's get to work ourselves. Let's go, Lean. Yes, sir. Justin, you hear that? Sure, sounds like something here. Let's go, Sue. 
Well, we will explore that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Grandia Redux. Make sure to smash that like button if you have not already to show your support for the series. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. Make sure to hit that bell notification so you can see what's up. There's a link in the description of our Discord if you want to join that group. And I will see you guys in the next one.